So there are a gazillion workouts out there. Some makes no sense, others make a whole lot of sense. I get it, you know the basics. You work out with me every day, but do you really know the best exercise for a full body workout? I'm Nathan Mixon, and before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video with your friends because they're gonna wanna know what I'm about to say. So, what attributes would I consider to make the best full body workout? For one thing, it has to target more than one muscle group. It has to get you practical strength, it definitely has to be relatively easy to learn. And lastly, it has to be free. I mean, who doesn't like free stuff? The first workout I want to talk about is a push-up. I mean, it's been here since the dawn of time. Its primary muscles include the chest, it includes the core, and the triceps. For most people, we are lifting up to 60% of our own body weight, and that all depends on if you're increasing your decline or increasing your decline, so it can vary from person to person. That means there are a ton of variations that you can include in your workout, so make sure you make push-ups part of your fitness regimen. No other workout can be complete without squats. Squats are probably the most practical exercise for your everyday life. You squat when you sit down, you squat when you get up, you squat when you take a dump, all the other good stuff. This particular workout is gonna target the hips, the hamstring, and definitely the glutes. The cool part about this, if you add weights to the mix, it can definitely target your chest area too, along with your core, and a whole bunch of other sister muscles. What I have noticed in the years of my training, people tend to skip this workout the most. And I can definitely understand why, because doing squats is very taxing to the body because you're working the biggest muscle groups. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be very rewarding and you'll be glad you did it. Now my top three would not be complete without the mighty lunges. Lunges can be done in a plethora of different variations but will definitely melt the fat in your quads or thigh muscles. It's also gonna strengthen those hamstrings and get deep into those glutes. Real deep. It's just gonna get deep, guys. Trust me on that. Lunges are relentless and they will not give up until you do. So make sure you stay strong and stay willing and it'll definitely increase the strength and make you stronger and better and more prepared for whatever next you got going on. Well, that sums up my list for my top three workouts. Did I miss a workout? Do you have something that you would consider in your top three? Make sure you list it down in the description box below because I wanna know and maybe I'll do a video on that too as well. So keep me posted. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like and share. Share the video with your friends and get them to subscribe and also catch me on my other social platforms like Snapchat and uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. You heard it first. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment to Mixin' Fitness, aka Nathan, the best YouTuber on the planet. Talk to you soon. Peace.